Today I'm reviewing NBA Jam Tournament Edition on the Sega Genesis. It started out as an arcade game, which then spawned home console versions across multiple platforms. The original port was just titled NBA Jam, but this Tournament Edition was a one year later update that added new players and got rid of old and retired ones. It also added more player attributes, and a tournament mode that disabled cheats and special characters so that you could run more fair tournaments with all your friends. Being the first video game franchise to license the NBA sport, it felt like the devs really took it to heart and loaded it with all the NBA vibes of the 90s. Housing all 27 NBA teams in 1994, plus a rookie team, you could choose from three real-life players in six different configurations on each team. Quite a decent roster for back then. Just like the arcade version, all matches were two-on-two -two affairs played on an NBA court background. Being an arcade game, a lot of the real-life NBA rules were not adhered to. It's pretty obvious when you start getting bowled over by the computer and there's no stoppage in play. And yet, the game just had to keep calling me on my goaltending, just to annoy me. But for real though, despite my absolute atrocious gaming skills on this one, it was a lot of fun. Frustrating when every single opponent three-pointers go in, but the vibes were still fun. When I finally managed to score three times in a row, I got the coveted HE'S ON FIRE mode, where the character's stats all get boosted until the opponent scores themselves. The normal CPU felt cheap at times, but after playing the game on easy, I realized it's just not me fully skilled at the game's ins and outs yet. It's a good thing every game was quick so that you get lots of reps in. The gameplay of NBA Jam Tournament Edition is a 7 out of 10. Since the game is primarily played on one background, they clearly spent a lot of time on it. You did feel like you were not only playing on an NBA court, but also in an NBA stadium. What's also impressive is that the detail is so good that they didn't even need to use parallax or layering to make the sense of scale or depth. There's a lot of character animations going on, and the fact that they could reuse a lot of sprites with palette swaps probably helped. But it's not like they stuck to just one model. They still made sure to account for baldness and height too. There were even some players that had goggles on. The player profiles when selecting teams could be looked at as a bit of pixel horror, but they got the point across. I didn't watch basketball back in the day, but the panel that came up once you scored just felt so NBA to me. The graphics of NBA Jam Tournament Edition get an 8 out of 10. The music in this game is not something one would really pay too much attention to, but when you do, it sounds pretty drab and dark. It works against the NBA 90s vibe and makes me think I just want to mute the music and listen to Space Jam or something. One track I will say I enjoyed though was the player select tune, which is a good thing because that's probably the only time you'll pay attention to the music anyways. Sound effects worked for the most part, but there were a few that just fell flat. Dunks were especially hit or miss. The big ones sounded glorious. Basic ones left you wondering if he even sunk it or not. This game's music and sound gets a 3 out of 10. Since I wasn't much of a basketball fan at the time, I didn't own this game, but a cousin of mine did. I have a very clear memory of firing up this game in their basement on a tiny CRT screen that wasn't even the main TV down there. We kept playing in a corner, in front of the stairs. I was much better at the game back then, but the cousin was clearly the MVP. I'm actually wondering why we didn't play this more often. This game's nostalgia hit is a 6 out of 10. It's easy to see why the NBA Jam franchise holds a special place in people's hearts. It's a solid game, you got to play as your favorite players, and the 90s NBA vibes were just in full effect. For a 16-bit era game, of course. I don't think it matters which edition of this game you play, I suggest you fire it up and try at least a match or two. 